We are learning now equation of a line and its multiple representations. So in which forms can a line be given, described, and how are they equivalent to each other? How from one form I can get uh, all other forms? Let us look at this diagram. We have four different forms of representing a line or of describing a line. Let's start taking um, an example for the slope-intercept form. Let's consider the line with the equation y equals 3x minus 6. How can we from this form uh, find the table of values, some, find some values on, the, uh, on that line, some points on that line, and draw the line and find the x and y intercepts? So we are going to go, for example, in that direction. From here, we are going to draw a table, from the table draw the graph, and from the graph, let's find the y, x, and y intercepts. First, in order to find the table of values, in this relationship, see this is a relationship between x and y, let's consider x the variable, and therefore y is dependent on x. x is an independent variable, and y is a dependent variable. If I take, for example, x equals 1, then y is going to be 3 times 1 minus 6. 3 minus 6, which is negative 3. Let's take another value for x. x equals 2. y is 3 times 2 minus 6. 6 minus 6, which is 0. Let us take another value. For example, x equals 3. y equals 3 times 3. Minus 6, 9 minus 6, which is 3. I have three points. As we discussed in class, to draw a line, it's enough to have two points. But to make sure that I didn't make any mistake, if I have three points that are all on a line, it means that my points are correct. Let's grab the first point of coordinates. 1, 1, negative 3 x equals 1, y equals negative 3. That's my first point. My second point has the coordinates 2, 0. So when x is 2, y is 0. My third third point has the coordinates 3, 3. So when x is 3, y is 3. It's going to be very difficult to be accurate in drawing the line. You need to use a ruler because then I'm going to use a line to read from the line the x and y intercepts. As you see, the x intercept is that point here. So it's a point of coordinates to 0. The y intercept is a point here, is a point of coordinates 0, negative 6. How is a slope intercept form related directly to the graph of the function? If we look, minus 6 is the y-intercept, and we find it here. That's why it's called slope-intercept form. It's a y-intercept. And the gradient of the function, or the slope, we take three points that are nice points at the intersection of the grid, like, for example, two blue ones. So to get from here, here, we go 6 units down and 2 units to the right. So the slope is 6 over 2, which is 3. And you see this 3 here. Having this diagram with four different representations of a line, you can try, when one of them is given, fill in the whole diagram and find out the other three.